this is Mimi. Mimi's age 10. And the one down here is Venus. And Venus is also 10. And they both rescued greyhounds. Well, I'm Sue. I'm a retired teacher. And uh, what do I do now is I spend a lot of my free time um, doing pets as therapy visits with these two greyhounds. I've got six greyhounds all together. Um, I'm hoping to have another one as a pets as therapy dog soon. I was teaching at a school in Norwich when um, the children heard that one of my dogs had died and because I was leaving at the end of the term they thought it would be really nice to go and get me a dog. Luckily I found out what they were doing and it was such a sweet thing I said to them look I'll tell you what why don't you come with me and help me choose a dog and we went along they came with me and we looked at all of the dogs wanted to take all of them and really couldn't choose so what I said to them is why don't we ask them to bring out the dog they've had the longest and the one that they're least likely to home. Out came this huge black male greyhound who'd been found as a stray and he'd been there for ages. No, nobody would, would adopt him. Never had a greyhound before, had no idea what they'd be like. Um, always had Labradors or other dogs, other breeds of dogs. At that time you didn't often see greyhounds out for homing. Normally they, they come out of racing about three or four, younger if they're injured. Venus did something like 70 odd races and she's not shaping her leg at the moment but that is a sign of a, an injury and she's got various scars over her which is you know, quite wide scars so she, she's, she's suffered a bit. Mimi I think did coursing in Ireland don't think she was ever used for racing. It was something like 10,000 finish racing in a year and only about 2,000 get homes. So it doesn't take too much working out what happens to the rest. So I'd like to see an end to racing and these just be pets like any other dog. It's Pets as Therapy is a scheme that was set up in the 1980s. It's really to take the dogs out into the community. Both of these, they go to the hospital, they go to un two universities here in, in Norwich and they go to school and anywhere else it invites us. Education conferences we've been to and actually I feel that because they're so easy going I can take them anywhere and they would just be lovely with everyone. I, I think it's a way of giving something back to the hospital and bringing some smiles to people on the wards whether it be the staff, whether it be the patients visitors to the hospital and the times we've stopped in the car park and children have come up perhaps they're going to see an elderly relative who's not very well and just for a few minutes they have a little bit of fun with the dogs and, and it, it's really lovely to share that you'd be surprised you just walk up and their faces change into smiles they don't look at you and you don't want them to but they, they always smile when they see a dog so really pets as therapy is really all about well-being and just showing people that, or letting people share your dogs and I'm in the position now to do something I really love doing. For 30 years I've had greyhounds thereabouts and I can't ever imagine having anything else. <laughs>